I bump right into you, I get all tongue tied. Want you to know me, but I'm way too shy. I can't just go around admitting that it's you I like. I wish that I had guts enough to flirt a little, but I'm too scared of it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Marla. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing some Christmas um, undecorating. I didn't decorate a whole lot for Christmas um, just because I knew that my son Jackson um, would probably tear it up. Um, so I'm just going to get the tree taken down and outside. And you can probably hear Jackson in the background. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to get all these tubs and stuff taken down. And then I'm going to clean up all these pine needles. Um, I love the way Christmas trees, real Christmas trees, look and smell. Um, it's just a really fun experience for our family. Um, we used to have a Christmas tree farm where we could go and cut oh, no. down the Christmas trees. Um, but they had since closed down. It was an elderly couple, um, and it's super sad. We used to be able to go pick it out and um, cut it down. So kind of a funny story about this year in our Christmas tree. Um, my husband, you know, wanted to carry on that tradition. So he found a place about um, an hour and a half away or so. So we get there and it's this cute little Christmas tree farm. Um, but the whole thing is up a goat hill <laughs> and obviously you can see I'm pregnant. So, and my son is two and it was definitely an experience. Um, we didn't end up getting a Christmas tree there because, um, they kind of looked a little bit more like Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown trees, but it was still a super fun experience to go um, and look at trees with Jackson. Um, and they had a donkey, which he loved. Um, we ended up getting our Christmas tree at Home Depot this year. Um, they were the same price as the Christmas tree farm. Um, and we had spent probably an hour or an hour and a half at the Christmas tree farm. Um, and it only took me I don't know, maybe 30 seconds to pick one out at Home Depot. Um, but it was still super fun. Um, and, but we're going to keep hunting for that Christmas tree experience, even if we have to go a little bit further. So you can see here that when I was taking the tree outside, that some um, water and Coca-Cola um, spilt out of the base of the tree. Um, I'm curious if you guys put soda in your tree too. Um, a, while, a few years ago, somebody had told us that that's the best way to keep it alive. <laughs> so we've been doing that ever since. But obviously, you can see this is just, it's a mess. I want to know you, but I don't know how. Cause every time I bump right into you, I get all tongue tied. Want you to know me, but I'm way too shy. I can't just go around admitting that it's you I like. I wish that I had guts enough to flirt a little, but I'm too scared I'll fail. I wish that I could listen to the voice inside me, a voice that
even though I used some spray cleaner and a rag to clean up some of the soda, um, it was still pretty sticky. So here I'm just getting my um, Hurricane, Hurricane Spin Mop ready to go. Um, I'm going to be using a little bit of Tide Powder Detergent. I've seen it all over TikTok. Um, and honestly, I'm pretty addicted to how it smells. It makes my whole house smell super good. And so since I had it out and ready to go, I decided that I would do, you know, a little bit extra than just in front of the door. dad had wrapped Jackson's bike up for Christmas um, in a box with some super sticky duct tape and some got on the floor so here I'm just using some Goo Gone and I realized that it wasn't going to take all of it off it was pretty thick so I'm going in with a razor blade just to get the bulk of it off um, and then I'm going to go over it with some more Goo Gone and then I'm going to mop the floor because if you've ever used Goo Gone, it's pretty oily. It's um, orange oil based. So I'm just going to mop this area last and then we will be done. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. This is an after Christmas clean with me um, and all those stinking pine needles. <laughs> I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy
talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy